guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Cheer Up! The Big D Expansion. In Cheer Up!, which is the original one here, which we reviewed quite a while ago, you're going to be basically answering questions that the person or host is going to ask. And the way you're going to do that is by drawing a question card and then reading it. What smells the worst? In which case it's going to give you a letter, plus another letter, plus maybe one or two more letters. And then you're going to draw two cards from each of those letter decks. You're going to choose one from each and make some kind of sentence. After that, a ruler variable is going to pop up. Like, for instance, this one here says, stare down. During the question and answer, each player must stare at the next player without showing any emotions. Then read their questions out, or their answers out loud. And then the person who asked the question is going to pick an arbitrary player based on whatever criteria they want to be the winner of the game, and, or, uh, of, the, of the round. And then after that, pass and continue playing. It's a pretty simple style judging game. But uh, what's interesting with this one is it includes an extra variable in the game, which you're going to be utilizing to play, as well as two other bonus little expansions to the game itself. Cheer Up is a cool little party style game that I've already reviewed previously. Let's find out if I like the new expansion for the Big D Pack in Cheer Up. So here we have Cheer Up in all its previous glory, and as you can see, there is quite a few new cards added to the expansion of the game. You have the A, B, C question, and of course the rule that you're going to be getting in the base game. There's also the non not safe for grandma cards that we've put down below. There's additional unsafe, uh, not safe for grandma cards now with the big D expansion, which are on top, as well as all of these cards here, including, of course, the big D deck. This is the additional card and or uh, letter that you're going to be adding to the game. And these all get mixed together. So we'll be talking a little bit about Cheer Up along with, of course, the expansion, which is what we're really reviewing right now, and I'll show you how to play the game and how it's going to work. We're going to actually only use the expansion stuff just to show you what is included in the new game. And then we'll go ahead and bring grandma in here to see just how not safe for grandma the grandma cards are once again after a couple years she's going to come back and show us again all right let's go down below and i'll show you how to play the game and then we'll come up and i'll review it and then grandma will review the not safe for grandma cards so here we have what's included in Cheer Up for the Big D expansion. And as you can see, you get quite a bit. You're going to get different little baby expansions, which are going to be the Arft expansion. And then, of course, the Fetch expansion. And they're going to have different words on them for A, B, C, and D. D being the newest letter in here. There's quite a few different cards here as well. Let's look at the D cards. A local coffee shop. An alternative universe where horses ride people. The zoo. The pet store. The, the organic aisle of the grocery store. A dog park. So on and so forth as well as the questions and of course you have custom cards this is waterfalls sitcoms bonuses Ooh, this is not safe for grandma ones so there are there are not safe for grandma responses and uh basically you're also going to get the not safe for grandma cards number two then the there's some pretty crazy ones on here we won't go ahead and show you all those but they are uh, mature audiences and what this is expansion is used for is to be put in the deck with the uh, regular cards now in this game i'll go ahead and just give you an example Example as to how it's played, just utilizing the expansions. As a, you could technically play the game with just the expansion, but really there's so many additional cards with the base game that I would suggest picking them both up if you like this game. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and draw a question card. And this one says, where would the evil version of Santa live? In which case, everybody's going to draw two Ds for the first D and two Ds for the second D. And then they're going to look at them and they're going to choose which one they like the best, a local community college or the airport, which sounds more funny. Maybe you want to use the other two Ds to determine that. How about a a gas station uh, so maybe maybe an, maybe like an airport gas station is where the evil version of Santa would live and everybody is going to do that as well so perhaps a boring wedding at an elementary school so on and so forth some of these are going to need to be you'll need to basically make them into sentences and whatnot you generally when you're adding the same type of letters to the same type of letters that can happen in the game but let's go ahead and take another look at another question as well uh, what what did you see the worst party you've ever been to okay so now you get an idea of how the cards work let's go ahead and go through an entire uh, portion of the game utilizing a couple players so first of all what did you see at the worst party you've ever been to two b's and two c's so this player will get two b's and two c's and this player over here is going to get two b's and two c's and we'll just do one more player with two b's and two c's then they're going to go ahead and look at them and determine what they want the best this one here um, and this one here, and then we'll go ahead and look at this one over here, this one, this one, and uh, this one, this one, and finally over here, how about that one, that one sounds funny, and this one here. Okay, 
So what is the worst thing you saw? Now, before we reveal these, we're gonna have a rule. So we'll flip one of these rule cards over. And this one says Blabbermouth. During the question and answer, each player must rapidly move their finger up and down over uh, their puckered lips while saying the answer. So something like this all blah, 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 while trying to say it. I'll do it for the first one, but I'm not gonna do it for all of them, all right? So well, so the person's gonna ask, okay, what was the worst, part, worst, worst thing you saw at a party? Uh, and then I'll, I'll be like, Blah, 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 freak worshiping the devil. And, and then I'd leave that out for them. The next player would do the same thing with their mouth, saying, oh, I saw a cannibal trick-or-treating. And then over here was a vampire was coming to get you. In which case, the person who flicked the, flicked, picked this card up, as well as the rule, is going to say, mm, I think probably the freak worshiping the devil is probably the, the, the worst uh, party I've ever been to. That was where I saw this guy worshiping the devil, right? In which case, these are going to go, and the person who won is going to get this card here and then the play will continue. You're going to go ahead and draw another question. Uh, what should I dress up for Halloween as? Or maybe what do you call your most famous dish? Or perhaps where were you last night? Let's look at a couple responses or a couple uh, of these rule cards here. A sitcom. After saying the answer, each player must shrug their shoulders and say, tis the season or waterfall the first player must say their answer as low as they can and then the following player must then say it at a higher volume basically always going higher and higher uh, the joker during the question and answer each player must smile creepily at the dealer while saying their answer that is kind of creepy right and that is basically how those guys work and the big d deck let's go through some of these cards because these are going to be the newer cards in the game an alternate version uh where yeah we, we should we went through all a lot of these already before but there's jail the sewer a video game convention my house the ocean a children's museum you get the idea now that is basically how the game works you can play up to a certain amount of points and eventually when somebody gets let's say four or five six points whatever you want to go for that can end the game much like games like cards against humanity or other judging style games so let's come up and i'll give her my review of the game talk a little bit about it and then show grandma some of these cards and let her say whether or not she thinks they are yet again not safe for grandma last time they were not let's see if these are any uh any safer. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the Big D expansion for Cheer Up. Well, I've already previously stated my enthusiasm for this game. Uh, it is basically cards against humanity, but it can be played with anybody. And then you can also, if you'd like, throw in the mature, not safe for grandma cards. But with this game comes even more choice because it feels like you get to make up your own different cards, but you put them together, your own little new unique sentences together. So for instance, I draw my two cards and I say, okay, which one sounds better, patriotic or terrifying? Well, that's gonna be based on the other cards I have in my hand, in-laws and a witch. A terrifying witch, terrifying in-laws, a patriotic witch, a pa patriotic in-laws? Well, I guess there is a, a few combinations there that can be kind of terrifying or kind of uniquely interesting in some way. The game is a comedy game, right? That gives you more choices than most of the games I've seen as far as judging games go. My favorite judging game is probably Cult Following at the moment, but this one is a close second just because of all the variety that comes in this game. And it's also stylized to those players who enjoy Cards Against Humanity and games like that. It gives you those judging aspects as well as adding unique rules to it, changing the questions that are asked and then giving you the ability to kind of create your own sentence that allows players to determine what's more funny or more entertaining or basically what follows the question the best. And I think that's really cool. My only one critique on this game really is... Uh, it can be pretty, pretty naughty if you really want it to be by including certain cards with other cards. Get pretty, pretty scandalous, but that's kind of based on how naughty your brain wants to be. And in addition to that, uh, you're going to have these, uh, uh, what do you call it? These cards that come out, like if you draw 2Ds and 2Ds, sometimes it'll be like an airport and a local community college, and the question will be something more innocuous. And you're like, how do I put these two together? And you have to kind of create your own sentence for that. It's going to be an airport, a park located in an airport, right? Right? And that's how you kind of put it together. But if you just said an airport and a park, that wouldn't make any sense. So you have to kind of push them together in some way. But that doesn't happen on a lot of cards. It's just a few of them that I noticed that in. But overall, it's a really, really fun game. I really, really enjoy Cheer Up. This game has been a lot of fun for us at parties. We've always brought this out in comparison. They'll be like, oh, do you have Cards Against Humanity? I'll be like, no, I don't. But I do have Cheer Up. This game's a lot more enjoyable. Let me show you guys why I enjoy it so much more. They'll sit there and they'll play it. And if they're like, oh, it's not as dirty as Cards Against Humanity. Well, that's okay. Let me bring out the Not Safe for Grand 
grandma cards because in general I probably wouldn't play with those cards as much but I can see a lot of my friends who enjoy the more mature versions of these, these type of games will want to and they'll throw that in. You can also kind of add in any extra things you want and along with the expansion like I said there's a lot of unique aspects to the game as far as the cards go including an extra letter which is going to give you even more variety to add to the game. Super fun. You can even add kind of your own questions in, and there is some uh, ones that will actually give you a blank space that will allow you to write your own cards in but you can add any kind of questions or rules that you want to utilize with these cards thusly giving you almost infinite possibilities to make stuff with. Pick up both games together in my opinion because it really works really well together. You're not going to really want to play the game with just the expansion alone. You could play Cheer Up all by itself and you probably wouldn't need this expansion but if you always wanted more that's kind of the point just like most of my friends who own CAH or whatever they have all the stuff and for a good reason along with this game you want it to not get stale you want it to keep going but luckily this game gets a, is a lot less likely to get stale because of the combinations you can choose to make and the context behind them based on the questions and of course the rules in the game anyway I think you get the idea let me go ahead and get grandma in here really quick <clears throat> and we will have her judge the not safe for grandma cards you ready Urgh! All right, so we've got Grandma here now, and she's going to go ahead and test out the Not Safe for Grandma cards. Grandma is definitely a, she's a church-going woman, and uh, she is, uh, she has her times where she can be a little uh, naughty when it comes to certain things, saying funny things. But in general, uh, she's probably going to stay clear of games like this that include naughty words in it. So this is a good test to see how safe for Grandma these cards are. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these questions here and read it and then we're gonna have grandma take the cards and put them together and we'll see if grandma is gonna be willing to say the combination of cards together or whether she's not gonna wanna do that and <laughs> we'll see how far we can get here. The first one here is gonna be uh, a, let's see, oh no, no, I'm gonna use that one. Let me use something else. Something that's, okay, here's a better one. I wanna use one with two letters so it's easier for her. Okay, so this one is a C plus D. What's the worst way to lose your virginity? What is the worst way to lose your virginity, okay? So we're gonna have a C, two Cs, and you're gonna choose between them, and uh, two D cards. And you're gonna be put put the C, it's a C first, and then it's gonna be the D card. And after you put them two together, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the rule, and uh, we'll see if you'll be willing to do it. All right, here we go. We're, we're gonna, we're testing the boundaries here of the not safe for grandma two cards. This is just random, I didn't select them. I, I don't know what she got here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see if she's willing to to put any of those two together. Just two cards, a C and then a D card together. You got one? You got a combination for me? Yeah. You do. Okay, is it going to be okay? Are you, gonna, are you willing to say it? Sure. All right, let's see here. This is a bonus. It says each player may add the following phrase to their answer as if, as if it were an extra answer card. Because that's how I effing roll, but fully the F word. <laughs> I'm not even willing to do that, but we will beep it. That's a good boy. <laughs> but you're going to have to do it. Oh, I've got to say the naughty word. Yeah, you oh. got it. That's, it's, it's, it's a bonus at the very end after you say it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the question. You're going to read the two cards out, and then you're going to say, because that's how I roll. Oh, honey, really? i yeah. got to say that word. Are you ready? Don't worry. We bleep it out on, on the thing. Oh, so good. Okay. okay. So what's the worst way to lose your virginity, Grandma? Sexting a third world country. And then what do you say after that? Oh, oh no! One more time. Okay. What, what's the worst way you lose your virginity? And then you have to read those two and then say this. Uh, I don't know. I know! You say texting a third world country. Yeah. And then you say, because that's how I effing roll. Oh, okay, got it. Ready? Yep. How do, what's the worst way to lose your virginity? Sexting a third world country, and that's how I roll. There you go. <laughs> I can, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> You're making me are these not safe for are these not safe for grandma? Would you play with these cards? Um, no, not if I have to say that word. Uh, how about this one? Oh. No. No, that's not too bad. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, these are all... Eh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That oh. one I might do. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. What is it? Dumbus. No, you're... you're oh, no, you're close. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. It's time for the outro. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out 
all of our stuff as well as our as every every Wednesday 7 30 p.m. PST you can go ahead and hit up our Facebook group we do live plays and we do a bunch of giveaways there and you have a bunch of stuff to win it's it's really really fun to get the community involved I want to go ahead and show the two cards grandma wouldn't say one of them is my favorite strip club I believe and the other one is doing butt stuff so she wasn't wasn't going to be those ones but she said that they weren't super bad compared to some of the ones in the deck so they do have there are some fun ones in there, I guess, for you people who have mature and dirty minds. Uh, that was that was that was pretty good. Uh, she's always a riot. Uh, as well as take a look at our website, unfilteredgamer.com, for the blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Don't forget to check out our friends, everythingboardgames.com, and the Giveaway Geek. And do check out Cheer Up the Big D expansion down below in the description if it's something you want to pick up. It is a fun, cool little party game, and it does have family-oriented content. It's just you're gonna have to take out certain cards, maybe, as well as don't put in those not safe for grandma cards. All right, guys, that's all I got. And as, as always, I look forward to uh, giving you the uh, big D next time.